Hi, I'm Stephanie, and I'm 11 days away from having back surgery. I have what is called spondylolisthesis of my L4 and S1, which is just a slipping. The reason for the slipping is I have what is called PARS defect, which is an actual break in the bones on, on the vertebrae, and it's causing the vertebrae to slide forward. The surgery that they want to do, it's called an anterior and posterior spinal fusion of my L4 through S1 with instrumentation. I'm going to have two titanium discs, two rods, and six to eight screws. If you haven't guessed, they are going in from the front and the back. Through my abdomen, they're going to go in. There's actually going to be two surgeons. There's going to be a vascular surgeon, and he's going to, um, sorry, my, my cat decided to hop up here. Um, there's going to be a vascular surgeon. He's going to go um, through the abdomen. He's going to move everything around and expose the spine. Uh, Dr. Khan is the orthopedic surgeon who will then take out the two discs and put in, it's like a titanium cage, and then they will use a synthetic bone to put in there. And then they'll put everything back together and flip me over, still under anesthesia, and then they'll go in from the back of my body to finish up putting the rods and the screws in. So I'm going to be speared in half. This next little video is something that I got to see when I was in one of the pre-op um, classes that they offer. It is the vertebrae, just two of them, two vertebrae with one disc in the middle. Uh, and it shows where the cage is going to be and where the screws are going to be and where the rods are going to be. This is only one level. My level is going to be two. So to think of what's going to be in my back, you're just going to have to think of just double of what you're about to see. Well, that's just a little bit about my surgery. I decided to do this video because when I was looking for research on the procedure I'm going to have done and the surgery and just questions that I had and everything, I did find a few videos of people that have documented their pre and post op um, procedures and how everything went and how they felt. And it was really reassuring to know that I'm not the only one out there that's having this done, that this is something that a lot of people have done. So I wanted to make this video because I'm really crafty and it would give me something to do and um, hopefully it'll help somebody. You never know. Um, what's coming up next? Tomorrow I go and get fitted for my brace and I'll let everybody know how that goes and how they do it because I don't even know myself. Tuesday, because today's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday I go for um, my pre-admission physical and blood work and all that testing and stuff and then they also have another um, surgery class at the hospital that um, my parents and I are going to attend and then um, I got five more days of work and then it's doomsday February 21st 2013
is when my surgery is going to be. It is at uh, 10 in the morning. I have to be there at 7.30 in the morning. Can't eat anything before midnight. And I have to make sure I'm completely empty, if you know what I mean, um, the night before. So I will definitely keep you posted. And I hope that this video helps someone. So this is the end of video one.